Welcome to the best list. And today we're counting down our picks for the underrated TV series with amazing LGBTQ plus storylines that everyone should watch at least once. Before we get into the video, YouTube hasn't been recommending our videos lately. We'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and watch the video until the end. I promise you won't regret it. Number 10, Supergirl. I'm here. Okay, you can tell me anything. Hey, look at me. What happened with your dad? <laughs> Based Alex on the Danvers? beloved DC Comics character, Supergirl tells the story of Kara Zor-El, who is sent to Earth from Krypton. After her sister Alex is in trouble, Kara decides to use her superpowers to save her, and it's then that she realizes she can become a hero the world needs. Over its six seasons, Supergirl has been a place for great LGBTQ plus stories. From Alex's coming out storyline to Nian Null becoming the first transgender superhero on TV, the show has left its mark. And I really just... I, I want to kiss you. Number 9, Station 19. Captain Maya Bishop. That's our Karina de Luca. I'm drinking alone today. Are you sure? A spin off series in the Grey's Anatomy universe, Station 19 took an experimental leap and decided to pair one of the lead firefighters with one of the newer doctors, and an explosive union formed. Maya and Karina are one of the hottest couples on television now, with devoted fans who credit them both for being a match made in heaven. I'm sorry. Rude? Broken. I'm not in the habit of fixing broken people. I understand. Number eight, Fida. Emma, this is um, Eddie. Eddie. She helped mommy run the bar and was like her roommate. Idalia had a roommate. Fida is the story of two sisters, Lynn and Emma. Returning to their childhood home in law following the death of their mother, they then discover that their mother had secretly been married to a woman and was running a financially troubled bar for girls like us. Vida features a plethora of LGBTQ plus ladings characters, with Emma's romantic entanglements with women being a main focus. One love interest is played by Robert Acalindras from the new A League of Their Own series. The show's inclusion of multiple butch women is incredibly refreshing and important in this landscape where media shies away from portraying gender non-conforming characters. I think you're the most beautiful thing in the world, but I can't. <laughs> Rich assholes are colonizing our hood. It's not right. We gon' take it back. We gon' take it back. Get out of our neighborhood, you white Tina bitches. Until we figure out. You know what? Fuck her. We'll have to stay a little longer. What we're going to do. Number seven. Feel good. Did you hear that? Yeah. People always call me sir. Yeah. But do you like when you think of me in your head, do you think of me like a like a boy or a girl, would you say? Just you, really. Yeah. More importantly, how how do you see you? Feel Good Chronicles comedian May's journey with addiction. The show explores the ways that May's addictive personality affects their romantic relationship with George, played by Charlotte Ritchie. Balancing between comedy and poignancy, Feel Good feels intimate and real without sacrificing entertainment value. The second season also touches on May's gender identity and the way that it interacts with their complicated romance with George. Overall, the series manages to provide a realistic image of the complex issues that it presents while maintaining a positive outlook upon its close. You said the right thing? Yeah, you said the perfect thing. New me, new life. I have everything under control. Are you guys tired from like trying to do the right thing all the time? When was the last time that any of us felt any joy? I may, I'm an addict. Where do you get this? In jail. As you know, I am an addict. Oh, Jesus. She's always had a very addictive personality. I don't know where she gets that from. Well, excuse me, you're not sponsoring me. Isn't there like a, a mantra that I could say or something? Well, I don't know, do I? Yes, when I lie next to you, I feel like still and quiet. What do you want to know? Everything. Number six, Dickinson. What's the problem with you tonight? Right. 
Is there a, something specific that you want to talk about? Or? There is. But it can't be said in words. Emily, Emily the guest. Dickinson is a creative imagining of poet Emily Dickinson's life in the 1800s before you dismiss it as a stuffy period drama. You might want to give it a chance, featuring dialogue using modern day vocabulary and an electronic soundtrack. It's definitely not the usual fare. Much of the show's three season span is preoccupied with Emily's romantic relationship with her childhood friend. Sue Gilbert, via bustle, Dickinson makes Emily's poetry more accessible and grounded by contextualizing it in both real and fabricated events. Evidently much more than a typical biopic, it is also a visual feast, including hallucinations of death played by Wiz Khalifa. You really are my favorite person in the world. I do not approve of a woman seeking to build herself a literary reputation, Emily! Read it when I'm gone. You mean when you're dead? Dude, no, I mean like when I'm in the other room. Oh. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. Number five, The Fosters. I love you. Stay, love will make me stay. I love you too. <laughs> the One Fosters the is a family drama television series created by Peter Page and Bradley Bredaway. Family is always a concoction of different perspectives and opinions, but this show takes it to a whole new level. Introducing the Fosters, the most colorful and absurd multi-ethnic family you'll ever meet, with foster children from around the globe, different parental relationships, and a lot of love. We follow them through their hilarious daily struggles and successes. I didn't know how you'd feel about the fact that I'm actually kind of fluid. This is my real ex, Emma. Number 4. Sense8 Here's the thing. We all wake up and we have to take the same terms and conditions box. Everyday stuff will happen to you. Some of it will be good, some of it will be bad. Sense8 is a science fiction drama television series created by the Vahovsky and J. Michael Straczynski. It tells the story of eight strangers, Will, Riley, Kathy's son, Lido, Kala, Wolfgang, and Mew. Each is from a different part of the world, but in the aftermath of a tragic death, they suddenly find themselves growing mentally and emotionally connected while trying to figure how and why this connection happened and what it means. Another stranger called Whispers attempts to hunt them down. Whatever you do, do not let her go. <laughs> Number three. Gentleman Jack. I've decided. I love you. Gentleman Jack is a historical drama television series created by Sally Wainwright. Brokenheartedly escaping a traumatizing past, witty and endearing Miss and Lister leaves her old home to live in her family home deep in the lush landscape of Halifax, West Yorkshire. I climb every mountain. Did you ever imagine you'd be sleeping between a cowhouse and a hayloft in the Alps? <laughs> Number two, Euphoria. At some point, you make a choice about who you are and what you want. Euphoria is a teen drama television series created by Sam Levinson and is loosely based on the Israeli miniseries of the same name. The series focuses on the relationship between two young girls trying to find their place in the world. Recovering attic Rue and new in town Jules, Euphoria follows teenagers in the fictional town of East Highland, California, who seek hope while balancing the strains of love, loss, and addiction. Every time I feel good, I think it'll last forever. But it doesn't. I'm Rue. I'm Jules. Suddenly. Number one, Orphan Black. Orphan Black is a Canadian science fiction thriller television series created by Gray Manson and John Fawcett. The series focuses on Sarah Manning, who has had a difficult life living in foster care. Sarah's life changes in an instant when she witnesses a woman who looks exactly like her commit suicide. 
Sensing an opportunity, she takes on the deceased woman's identity, but she soon discovers that the doppelganger is not just a one-off. And the more she investigates this strange occurrence, the more dangerous it gets. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Do you even know who you're talking to? How many of us are there?